Hi, I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you last-minute request from my students. They have test tomorrow on Unit 2 Derivatives. So here I've added question number 12 to the list. At what point on the x, y equals to 12 is the tangent line parallel to the line 3x plus y equals to 3? So we are given a function which is x times y equals to 12. And we need to find a point on this function where the tangent line is parallel to the line 3x plus y equals to 3. That means the slope should be, let me rearrange this, y equals to minus 3x plus 3. So we are looking for slope m equals to minus 3 on this function. Now major difficulty with the students is to understand how to differentiate this type of a function right so we have not learned uh, different rules which could help us solve this question so what we should do at this stage is that we can write y as equals to 12 over x now that makes it very simple right so whenever you have a function where x and y are like mixed together you have to somehow isolate y to apply the rules which you have learned that is power rule, product rule, quotient rule, chain rule, correct? And explicitly write y in terms of the other variable. Soon you learn the other rules where you could do implicit derivatives then it will be simpler for you. Anyway, this is not difficult also, right? So now you get the concept. Now when the function is y equals to 12 over x, kind of a reciprocal function, we need to find a point on this function where the slope is minus 3. So that is the question, right? So what is y dash? y dash is, this is minus 12 over x square, right? So that is a derivative of 12 over x. At times, some students will write this as 12 times x to the power of minus 1 and then apply the power rule minus 12 x to the power of minus 2 so here they should be a square okay so that is the right derivative yes now what do we need to do we need to find the value of x where this slope y dash is the slope is equal to minus 3 right that is what it means by saying line parallel to the line right so parallel lines have same slope right so parallel lines have same slope so we'll equate this slope to minus 3 and solve for x. So let's rearrange. So we'll multiply by x squared and divide by minus 3. We have minus 12 divided by minus 3 equals to x squared. This is indeed 4. Now what is x equals to? x is square root of 4. But whenever you do square root, you have to always do plus and minus to get it. And therefore, we get two values of x which are plus and minus 2. So this is important. So that's another place where you might do a mistake. So avoid all these things, right? Now whenever we say what, at what point on x, y, we need to find also the y coordinates, right? So we know x coordinate could be either plus 2 or x coordinate could be equals to minus 2. So for both cases, find out what y should be. So y is 12 over x. So in this case, it is going to be 12 over 2, which is plus 6. And here y will be 12 over x, which is 12 over minus 2, which is minus 6. And therefore, our answer is that the points with slope of minus 3 that will make the tangent parallel to the given line are x value of 2, y value of 6, right? Or minus 2, minus 6. Do you get it? So that is how this question should be answered. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. I'll also share with you some more questions where <coughs> we have functions like this you need to isolate y, then find the derivative. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.